Sam Jones said it himself. He, I got the thing. He said, "Oh, he Regis Probert beat him, and then they at the press conference, he was like, oh, I'm, a, I'm fighting some. I'm, a, I'm, um, I beat somebody that beat you, but you told me you said I beat him myself. You know." Like This is Jonathan Agoff here for Pro Boxing Fans, joined by the two-time light weight world champion Regis Progress. Pro great, get geared up for October 26th, back in the UK against uh, Jack Cattrall. Uh, Regis, mm -hmm. tell you you're back in uh, your home in in Texas. Uh, just yeah. uh, how's life, first of all, treating you? Uh, I mean everything good, man. I um, you know, I was in Vegas at first. I was out, I was out there training for a little while. Then I got the news that it was postponed. So you know, I kind of left. I left Vegas. I came back here, and I, everything kind of happened for a reason. I came back here, and I wanted to come back here, um, you know, just to train at home and stuff like that. I, I was missing my family, missing my kids, and I, I really just like to train at my house. You know, it's it's no better. It's no better thing than just to train at my house and stuff like that. I have my own gym. I have everything at my house. So I came back here and I've been, you know, I, I've been kind of getting it ever since. Yeah. So, so Regis, when, when you heard the news about uh, Jack's injury, I imagine you're pretty frustrated, but uh, did it, did you have to just look at it? Like I've got more time, the fight's going to happen and it, it got rescheduled pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, it was rescheduled pretty quick. I mean, I was kind of, I, I definitely was mad about it because I wasn't, I wasn't, man, I was training my ass off. I was training so hard. I was out there in Vegas. I was training, man. I was training. I was on a crazy schedule, just busy every day and literally just, I mean, I was just getting it every single day. And when I heard that, it was just like, damn, you know, like I did all this and I, and I went to Vegas on my own, you know, um, and, and on my own, meaning, um, it was no match from never gave me no type of um camp money. I just did it on my own. I did everything on my I paid everything on my pocket because you know I, I understand what's at stake. So I wanted to go out there, I wanted to train and you know get some different type of work out there. And um I feel like you know it everything happened for a reason. I feel like you know, um it did what it did, basically. I mean meaning to uh like it was the the everything I wanted to accomplish, it was accomplished out there. You've had uh, so many important fights in your career. Where does mm -hmm. this one rank? Do you, do you feel like this is in some ways the most important one or, you know, where would you sort of rank it? I won't say it's the most important. I mean, the thing is, you never want, you never want to just say, oh, it's the most important. All of them are really important, you know. At the same time, all, all the fights are really important, you know. I mean, honestly, I felt like I fought bigger fights. I mean, my last fight with Devin was a bigger, definitely a bigger fight than this, you know. Um, And with the Josh Taylor, this, I mean, this fight isn't even for a belt. So it's just, a, for me, it's just another fight. That's that's kind of how I'm looking at it. Just another fight. I feel like this is a fight that's overdue. Me and him was supposed to fight years ago. It just kind of never happened. And now it's happening. So this is a fight that's kind of just overdue. Um, but now, I mean, is as far as important wise, I mean, every for me, every fight is important. Every fight, I'm gonna train hard, and every fight, it's important for every fight. Now, uh, ever since the Josh Taylor fight, you said you always want to, you know, one day come back to the UK and and fight. Uh, mm -hmm. When it was offered to you and, and the opportunity came up, was it an easy yes, or did you have to think, well, you know, I'm kind of going into his backyard you know, mm -hmm. potential judges, you know, things like that. Right, right. I mean, I feel like I feel like it's going to be fair only because, you know, it, with the last fight, it was kind of controversial with, you know, and then Bob Arum got on the stage and said, you know, all kinds of stuff about it. So I definitely feel like, you know, they're going to be watching. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be more fair, I feel like this time. But I mean, I definitely want to um, go fight in the UK. And I understand, for me, I understand the business side of things. It's not like, Oh, the people. Maybe the people might be against me, but it's. I mean, the fight will make more sense out there than if it is out here. You know, if you think about it, you, you can put the fight out here in Texas or something like that. And I mean, it might do something, but it'll definitely be bigger in the UK. And I understand. I understand as a businessman, I understand how big the fight could be in the UK. So you know, um, when they said, I mean, originally when they said Jack Carter, I was like, I was cool with it. Um, obviously, I try to get, um. I, I thought I thought it could have been in do Saudi or something like that, like a neutral ground. I thought it could have been that way, but they, they say in the UK. And I mean, for me, like, listen, that's it's it's fine with me. Uh, how do you think the crowd's gonna uh, sort of react to you? Because after the Taylor fight, you gained a lot of fans in the UK. Uh, you know, right. you've always shown love to the UK fans and vice versa. But it is in Manchester, mm -hmm. is backyard. So do you think it'll be a bit mixed, or do you think in the moment? I think I think it's gonna be. be I definitely. 
I feel like it's gonna be a bit mixed. I mean, of course, I feel like the thing is the 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 fans in Manchester they just like boxing, you know. So obviously they gonna go for their man. They might boo me when I come out, but at the same time, the same people that might boo me, they be asking for pictures and stuff like that after I beat them. So I don't I don't think it's um I I kind of don't yeah it's it's gonna be uh, I feel like it's gonna be a mixed crowd. People gonna you know they gonna support me, but at the same time, listen, that's their man. They supposed to they supposed to boo me a little bit, you know. That's that's how it's supposed to be. How did you think he looked against Taylor? And how did you think Taylor looked as well? I, I feel like Taylor's shot right now. I, I definitely feel like Taylor's a shot fighter right now. And I feel like that fight was closer than the first one. The first one, I feel like he definitely won that fight. Um, this the the second fight, you know, I feel like they just they kind of owed it to him, basically. You know, it was a it was a closer fight. He could have won. Yeah, I don't know if Taylor could have won. I have to go watch it again, but I watched it live and then watching it live and stuff like that. You know, I felt like they just they kind of just owed it, you know, to him, basically. Does that rematch still appeal to you, even though you feel like he's past his best, Taylor? Um, maybe. I mean, it depends after this. I mean, for me, I want bigger and better things. You know, let Jack go fight him for the third time after this or something. But I mean, for me, I, I feel like I, my goal is to be a three-time champion. So I'm not, it's not like I'm overlooking nobody, but that's just, you know, for me, that's what I want. I want to become a three-time champion. So that's like my goal right now. So if it's if it isn't conducive to what I have going on, I mean it, it not really. You know, it's not. I mean, if if Josh Taylor somehow, some type of way get a belt, then yeah, I'm all for it. You know, let's fight Josh Taylor again. But if it's not, then it I mean it's it, for me it's no it's no purpose, it's no point. Now, you know, years ago when I spoke to you, you told me that when you first won the belt, you kind of didn't appreciate it, and that's what motivated you to become champion again. Did you feel the same? Uh, the second time around, and is that of what's course. motivating you here? Yeah, definitely for sure. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I just, I, I was talking to my dad the other day about. I'm like, yeah, when I get the belt, I kind of just like whatever, you know. Like I was, my goal, I really wanted to become a two time champion. That was something that was just in my heart, and I worked so hard for it. I mean, I and I worked for three years to get back to become a two time champion. Now my goal is to become a three time champion. So now my, it's like you know, I always worked hard, but in my mind, um. It's just a little different in my mind. It's just something that I want, and I when I when I want to accomplish a goal, I just go after it like so persistent, and it's just nothing that can get in my way. But yeah, once I won a belt, once I beat paid for the belt, I was like, all right, like I I did, you know, I did what I wanted, you know. Besides, like you know, money and stuff like that, that's always a motivator. But I mean, I I became a two time champion. I waited so long to do it, so it felt so good. But now. My goal is to become a three-time champion, you know, and and not just really not even just a three-time champion, a unified champion. Also, I feel like I get the belt, and you know, then after they get another belt, and then you know we'll see what happens from there. But that's kind of you know that's kind of in my my plans right now. That's what I see for myself right now. And then you know the Haney fight was a, a long, long time ago now. But when you look right. back at that fight, what do you take anything you know maybe where things didn't go right and things you have to work on for this one, or is that kind of you know? You, it's gone. Fight. Honestly, brother, it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. It's the the handy fight. That wasn't that wasn't even me, to be honest. You know, it wasn't me. I, I was I just worked at a gym out at a gym and I was just sitting there song. It was like, bro, like, like who was that? You know, fighting Haney. It was like, yeah, it wasn't me. You know, my mind was just it wasn't there. My mind was just it was definitely, you know, it was gone or whatever for that whole fight, you know. So and I mean I did a you, you just never get off of excuses and stuff like that. But yeah, I did things that I wasn't supposed to do in camp leading up to it, just everything. I felt like it was just a bad, it was just a whole bad situation, period. You know, that's all. So for me now, I just I just erased it. It's, it's not even it's kind of in my mind, it's not existing basically. Hmm. Uh, just ask you about uh, a couple of fights coming up. Uh, we got Canelo against Edgar Berlanga. How, how do you think that's going to go, Regis? I think Canelo will smoke him. I don't think Berlanga is ready. Um, that's all. I mean, I feel like Berlanga, Berlanga, he come and get a good payday. You know, that's cool. He flashy. You know, that's good for him. But I, I just don't think he's ready for a Canelo. But, I mean, I've been heard about this fight going to happen years ago. You know, I, I've been knowing about this. They said, you know, Berlanga could fight Canelo a long time ago. And congrats to him. Congrats to Berlanga, bro. He could get paid, but I just don't see him on a Canelo's level. Mm. And then, you know, Terrence Crawford, who, who you know has been calling for that fight with Canelo. Is that something you you want to see? Or do you think, you know, he's, he should look at food? <laughs> I definitely want to see it, yeah, for sure. But I don't think he could win. I definitely don't think he could win. I tell I told Crawford all the time, bro. I, I just don't think, you know, they make weight class for a reason. You know, like this last dude... He fought, you know, was hitting him with stuff. And that dude was a 54-pounder, you know. So I think that I feel like, you know, that is 
that might be the ceiling for Terrence Crawford, you know, that 50. I mean, and, you know, Styles do make fights, but Canelo is, I mean, man, Canelo is not just, a, you know, a big puncher. I think that somebody like Crawford, like how skilled he is, if Canelo is just a big puncher, then, you know, he might can outbox him. But, you know, Canelo, can, he's skilled also. Canelo does have a lot of skills. So I just, for me, I just don't see, Um, I can't see, I can't see him beating. I don't think, for me, I can't even see the fight happen. I don't think the fight will happen anyway. It's just a, it's all a hypothetical dream match, but I don't, I don't see that happening. Now, I believe you've sparred Crawford in the past. Uh, what do you think of him against Ennis? How would that fight play out? I never sparred Crawford, no. Oh, I wish I did. Sparred. I actually want to go spar him one day. Now, I never spar. I mean, me and him been cool and stuff like that, you know, but we, um, yeah, we never spar. With Ennis, I mean, listen, Ennis, I think Ennis is, and it's the truth, you know, he's real, real good. Um, but I don't think he has the resume yet of somebody like Crawford. Crawford has a resume, Crawford for all kinds of styles. And you know, I now I know somebody that did spot with both of them, and they said that they kind of what what but Crawford is a little stronger, you know. They say and this is super strong, but Crawford is just a little, little stronger, you know. So I would right now I would lean more towards Crawford, but you give it six months to a year. I mean, you know, it, he Crawford is way older than Ennis, also. So I would, I would, I would think I would give it to Ennis. And then uh, here in the UK, in a couple of weeks, we got uh, Anthony Joshua against Daniel Dubois. Uh, most people say it's going to be over in six. What do you think? For who? For who? Joshua. Yes, Josh? Joshua. It's. A, I, I think that's a. I mean, I think that's a. Man, that's a good fight. I think that's a good fight for both of them, both guys. Um, I'm not. I don't know too much about Dubois. I mean, I, I saw him, you know, fight, and he came back. That's good for him. But I, I'm not – I would think that Andy Joshua should be able to beat him also. But, you know, it's heavyweights, man. And he, with heavyweights, you just – those are two big dudes. So, with those dudes hitting each other, I mean, you just never know. But for me, I would lean more towards Andy Joshua. Just lastly, Regis, uh, you know, you, Roberto Duran is someone who I know, you know, you really – you know, one of your favorite fighters ever. Um, you, know, you had the chance to sort of – uh, hang out with him and you know uh, doing sort of um not not pads but like you know shadow boxing just, with yeah just shadow boxing with him and stuff what yeah. was that like what, what was that experience like i mean it's something that i i remember forever man and it's it's on video you know that's crazy and then so he has a movie coming out he's a he has a documentary and i'll be in the documentary and stuff like that and i mean just to do something like that is just like i'm a people don't realize about me like i'm a i'm a real boxing historian i'm a boxing head i just love boxing like I happen to do it. Like, I would be doing what you're doing, you know, interviewing people because I just love the fighters. I love boxing and stuff, but I just happen to be a fighter also. I just happen to be good at this sport, you know, and, but I'm, I'm really like a fan. Of, I just like boxing. I like the, I like the history of it and stuff. And man, just to do something like that. I mean, I feel like, I feel like Duran right now is probably, ah, uh, maybe the greatest fighter living right now. Like, you know, besides, I mean, you got like Floyd and Pacquiao, but I mean, I feel like, man, Duran, I mean, the, the best fighter ever to put on a pair of gloves was Ray Robinson, you know? And then I think right after that, it might be like a Duran, like how good he was, you know? Like, I mean, it, it's all different errors and stuff. Like I said, we can have Floyd, Ali, Pacquiao, all that type of stuff. They all accomplish different things. But man, just to, just to do that with Duran, that's, I mean, that was like legendary. That's special. That's something that, you know, people, fighters will be asking me this forever, you know, because it, it, it constantly just, you know, it goes down. It goes down a list like, um, like it, it, the torch always passes the hand, you know, Duran, you know, they had the Ray Robinson, then they had the Ali, then you had like the Rands, and, um, you had the, before that, the Harry Armstrongs and the Joe Lewis's. And like I said, then we get to the Ray Robinson's and then, you know, Ali and, you know, then get to the Rands and then, you know, it's just, I just love that lineage and I love the history of the fighter. So just doing that, it was just like, man, super special. And it's something that I, for me, for me, I remember, I remember forever and cherish forever. Brilliant stuff. Well, Regis, uh, just less than two months out before you fight Cattrall uh, in Manchester on the zone, October 26th, uh, final prediction or a uh, prediction rather. I mean, I, I feel like I'm gonna go out there and do me, man. I think that, you know, um, I'm just I'm just getting back to being hungry again, you know. Um, like you said, when when I don't have the belt, I'm way more hungry, and that's just how I am. I feel like once I get the belt again, maybe I just give it up or something like that, so I don't be a champion. But when I'm the champion, I'm on top of the world. You, you gotta realize I was I was number one in the world like something three years ago or something like that or whatever, and then I came back and I was number one in the world again. I was uh, I was you know right back there. So I kind of went. It's like this, man. It's like this when I go up and I go down, I go up and down. So um, now it's just like. 
climb back to the top. That's all. And for me, listen, if I do me, I shouldn't have no trouble. I know Jack is not a better fighter than me, no matter what about we going to Manchester, no matter what happens. I just know that Jack is not a better fighter than me. And now, um, like I'm just I'm just getting back to being me. So if I, if I show up, reason progress show up, Jack don't have no chance. Or well, stoppage. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm not, I never predict, I'm not Ali or nothing. Like, I never predict, you know, what's going to happen and stuff like that. But I feel like, man, if I get a chance, it'll happen. You know, I, you got to realize I stopped people that never been stopped before. You know, I, I we, I, I fought Zapata, I stopped him. I fought Tyron McKinnon, I stopped him. I fought um, Harrell Dez, I stopped him. I fought Relic, I stopped him. You got to look at the resumes. You know, people, people say, I know a lot of people say, oh, yeah, because I had two bad fights. I had fights with the Devin and I had fights with the Rilla. You know, that was two bad fights and stuff like that. But you still got to check my resume. You know, like Jack, Jack's resume is not like mine. You just got to think about, I mean, how many champions and ex-champions did I fight? You know, like even like somebody like a Terry Flanagan that was a champion out there. Like I, I ran through him, you know, he's never been stopped. He's never been dropped before and I dropped him, you know? So you got to realize like you, you got to put the resumes next to each other and my resume outshines his any day of the week. And that's all. So it's just for me, you know, I, I know people looking at the, um, you know, the Josh Taylor fight. But, I mean, even that, I feel like, I still feel like I won that. And then, even, I know Sam Jones go watch this. Sam Jones said to himself, he, I got the thing, he said, oh, he reads his program, beat him, and then they, at the press count, he was like, oh, I'm a, I'm fighting some, I'm a, I'm, um, I beat somebody that beat you, but you told me, you said I beat him myself. You know, a lot of people do think, I did think that I beat Josh Taylor, you know, so, I mean, listen, um, like I said, man, you you put resumes, you 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 put the resumes next to each other. You put the people who I fought next to the who he fought is no comparison, you know. And I like I said, I've been a champion already twice. He's never did it not once. So um, I don't feel like I mean I don't never want to disrespect nobody and say it's gonna be a an easy fight. But I do feel like I am superior, and I'm coming in with that confidence, and I know that it's nothing. I feel like it's nothing he's gonna do to be able to stop me. Whatever I'm gonna do. Well, Regis, uh, good luck with the rest of camp, and uh, we Thank will you see sir. you in the UK in a few weeks. See you in a few weeks, UK.